okay so on the request of one of my friend today I'm going to represent uh, how stored procedures are created in MySQL or MariaDB in fact stored procedures are uh, just in a definition So if you have to create a stored procedure, the general syntax says C R E A T create P R O C E D U R E procedure and the name of the procedure. Then you specify its parameter list. And within the parameter list, we have the parameter uh, and then the data type. Say if I have to pass multiple parameters, I could have called it parameter one and the um, corresponding data type. Then after we have param two and this corresponding data type. Say data type two. And furthermore, you can have uh, as many as you like. So now, for the instance, uh, I just keep it uh, two parameters right over here. And then I'll show you with a simple, very simple example in a real, real life scenario how we can create stored procedures. Uh, then after we say begin, B E G and begin, and all the statements goes here. Now, by all the statement I mean any SQL statement. Statements, and uh, most importantly. If you have multiple SQL statements are uh, getting executed or you want to execute multiple SQL statements from a procedure then uh, do separate them with semicolons make sure they are separated by semicolons because each of them will be considered as a transaction so they will they all will be executed one after another uh, in a sequential order so you'll have to consider it and uh, then after you have to use semicolons to separate each one of them coming back uh, we have e and the end to represent the end of the stored procedure well with that thing said uh, since semicolon is part of the syntax then uh, pra from practical point of view what we have to do is uh, just change the delimiter first so we say d-e-l-i-m-i-t-r delimiter and we just happen to use uh, dollar dollar instead you could have used any of other character combination uh, to have uh, change your default delimiter because in MySQL or MariaDB we have semicolon as a default delimiter and uh, just in case if I change the delimiter then to create a full fledged command I'll have to place dollar dollar in order to terminate that particular statement well with that thing said so this is the general syntax now let's uh, create uh, just uh, let's create a scenario so in a MySQL database, I have a classic models sample database installed, and within the classic database sample uh, classic models as a sample database, I'll try to perform some query like uh, say I want to find uh, total payments made by any particular customer till date. So in that way. So the query would be like uh, TOTL total P A Y M E N T S payments M A T made uh, by C U S T O customer N U M B N number. That says if I pass the customer number, then the total payments received till date should be printed out or should be um, listed out. Uh, well, with that thing said, okay, let's save it somewhere. Uh, On the desktop maybe okay fine so here I'll save it as uh, well so this is what I want to in the classic models database I want to create a stored procedure that finds total payments uh, made by a given particular customer number 
so things would look like D E L I M I T a delimiter to dollar dollar and then C R E A T create P R O C E D U R E procedure and the procedure name would be get total payment payments by customer number okay uh, just uh, a very fancy name of the store procedure then after I'll have to pass an argument and the argument would have been like a C number C number which is of integer type of course and uh, by assuming that it is an input argument I'm not going to use it as a, a say output or modify it anyways now therefore I'll consider it as by default it is considered in or you would have said in out or in out parameter so the option here is in the option here is out out or the option here is in out so you could have considered your parameters and by default it's in by default it's in so let me remove it okay then so we have the keyword called BEGIN begin and the MySQL statement says uh, SELECT select C dots CUS UMR customer number customer number comma uh, CUS UMR customer and name in name comma sum of MOUNT amount as due to your total payment payments from CUSTOMR customer CUSTOMR as customers as C in a join in a join P A Y M E N T S payments as P on C dot customer number equals to P dot C U S T U M A customer and U M B A number and we have where clause where C dot C U S T O M customer number equals to C num and this part here is from the argument if you can see it's from the argument and it should not be within the quotes never ever put these uh, argument variables or the parameters within the quotes so this is a common pitfall where commonly or say face database designers they make this mistake as well developers that make this common mistake okay so this was a pitfall with that thing said let's move forward and then we have the group by statement so group by c dot customer number perfect and let me arrange it so order by say TOTL total payments payments um, okay since I'm uh, fetching a single record I don't need to arrange it at all I don't think so arrangement will be required so far so good and here we have the end statement end of the stored procedure we have delimiter well so if you see from here to here we have a single command and just in order to create it I'll let me go back to the shell okay my jump is has been started let me log in okay so let me use the database perfect and uh, okay then one one after another let me copy this command okay I simply copy it and here is the command so perfect now let me see if my short process has been created pretty good it seems fine 
then after uh, just in case if you have to look at the structure you could have said describe or you could have said SSW show CREAT create PROC DURE procedure and the procedure name get UTL total payments by customer number and you see everything is written or just everything is written here so begin select and blah 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 and everything you can you could have uh, find everything over here so this is how you confirm that what is the store procedure or what statements does it contain because as a data extraction feature you uh, you can see store procedures providing you some data abstraction feature because you just simply call the store procedure and it works for you so you can hide too many information using a store procedure or you can simplify too much of details well with that thing said so now it's, it's up to us how to execute perfect so to execute uh, let me go ahead and to execute this command to execute execute this the store procedure store procedure use call call store procedure name and here you pass the formal arguments and here you pass some value value one and make sure the data type matches the domain matches value two value two and blah 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 and then after you have a delimiter so well so this is how you execute a stroke procedure I hope uh, that will be f further so in our case in our case what do you do CLL call and the name of the stroke procedure is Control Z and so in our case we have call so here we are and uh, let's pass some value let's pass some some uh, guy who have already made some payment let me confirm so SELECT take back to the delimiter the ELIMIT or delimiter to semicolon for a while and now if I say SELECT 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 uh, CUSTUMR customer number from payments just in case I want to see uh, say 3 ok 103, 103, 103 fine say 30 or say 3 we're using the keyword called distinct D I S T I N C T distinct. Oh. Perfect. 103, 112, and 140. Let's test all these all these uh, customers. So I would have said C L call, and make sure you have the permission. Make sure you have the permission for executing any stored procedure on that particular database. This is very very important. If you if you don't remember this thing, it's very hard. Uh, to continue or say uh, to utilize the power of history procedure pretty good well then so we have call and then uh, we have something like uh, okay so then after I pass the value 103 perfect is at graphic making total payment of this value nice so let's call it with 112 nice you signal gift stores making payments of blah 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 and so here I make 114 just to confirm things work for us nice now let me add some value that is not uh, that is not available or say uh, just a null what happens what happens oh nice oh null is not getting operated 
let's have something like let's not put any value altogether then this should generate some error because of uh, our stored procedure is expecting one single parameter and we have not been passing any value so this should generate uh, some error let's see perfect increase number of arguments for positive classic models dot get total payments by customer number expected one and got zero what a perfect message so let's go ahead and uh, I think this would be this would be doing fine so let's see uh, something that is not in the database at all say one 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 and one one just for a run random number nice empty shed but it's still working let's have some value that is already working and let's put them within the codes uh, let's see uh, we have just it's being expected as integer value and what if I pass something within the codes okay some one on four again oh it works so that says um, uh, again with an integer value it's not a problem but what if if you have a worker then you should be make sure that all of your values being passed are within the codes and uh, I hope that to do help somebody because so once you have a stored procedure uh, getting stored in the database then you could have called it very easily with your PHP scripts or your maybe Python scripts or maybe your Java and all all of that so just in case if you're very much eager that how can I execute the stored procedure or how can I collect the value from the stored procedure just in case it can make uh, some insert update and delete and all those functionalities just by calling a simple stored procedure then um, keep me posted uh, so that I can help you with all those things uh, just in case if you have to remove stored procedure it's too, too easy to do that uh, and the command says drop drop proc proc procedure and you have uh, the procedure name proc prop name you don't need to pass any arguments here simple isn't it so it was tough creating a stored procedure or dc or making decision that uh, you need to have a stored procedure for some of your purpose but for deletion you don't need to think anything anything else so you can drop it anytime as you like thank you everyone uh, hope this helps somebody uh, automating their task or maybe simplifying their task from database point of view. Thank you so much for watching.